trying to make up time and crack into the eyes from the little white line and the other green pills I'd been on all night long. Well, I knew that it was a big mistake, but I'd had a run of luck that had made me late, and I had six decks for a boat to the Philippines. Well, I knew that boat wasn't gonna wait, so I wound her out to a dollar fifty-eight and prayed that I didn't run into the fuzz. When I say my logbook was way behind, well, it means I'd left it home this time, but that only added to the excitement and the fun. Now, just when things couldn't get any worse, well, something happened that made me curse as I saw the rubber fly in the rearview mirror. Now, changing tires would burn up time, so I just pushed the mirrors a little out of line so I couldn't see what the hell was going on. I was right off tapping, sitting along with Hank Jr. playing a country song about how things all turned out real good in the end. I was rising the crest and nearly to the top and back into the gear so my rig wouldn't stop when I felt the familiar tug of the brakes locking on. Now believe it or not, it worked out in my head. I had 52 brakes shoes stopping me dead and 600 big yellow pussycats pulling them along. With 600 cats and 52 shoes, I figured the smaller number would lose as I smoked and squealed and skidded over the hill. I was making full noise and backing out of high to smash to think that I might be gonna die. My powdered brain was ticking like a drop kick clock. Then the next thing there was a hellish and smash as 52 brakes shoes shattered like glass. This rubber tire ring was picking up pace again. Now the trailers were making some weird kind of noise I managed to cover with the toe-tapping voice of Charlie Daniels redlining on a stereo. One thing on my side, or so I thought, was the nearest red line from here to the port as I tore along at a dollar and eighty-five. Relieved to know that I'd make it in time, I treated myself to a dirty red line before I slowed right down to enter the city. Then I lifted my foot, but you wouldn't believe it. The accelerator stuck, and I couldn't relieve it. And to make matters worse, the ignition just wouldn't turn off. So I did the only thing that I figured I could. I was swinging off the horn like a Spanish running bull, letting everybody know I was coming and get out of the way. How I got through without hitting anyone is nothing compared to what else I'd done as I loaded all six decks, truck and all. Then I stopped hard up against a concrete slab and everyone looked as I stepped from the cab and I handed my delivery docket to a bloke nearby. With his mouth wide open he signed the form, then I gave him his half and disconnected the horn which wouldn't turn off due to the nature of the delivery. I had six decks of steers laying on their side but they all stood up when the truck motor died all grinning like idiots and high on adrenaline. Then one bloke said, mate who do you drive for? I said, don't you mean who'd I nearly die for? It was brown dogs off tap express livestock delivery.